This quick tutorial is about creating a one cell drone style piece from a basic template, adding auto panning to give it some width, changing a wavetable patch, adding another template and maybe then a TTM template too and seeing where we get to. We start by creating a new mix based on a standard ambient voice type. Okay, now to this particular mix, we're going to want to add a number of voices. And for this currently playing voice, a number of copies. So I'm first, I'm just going to stop it a second. And then I'm going to change the polyphony of this particular synth network to a higher number so that when we add multiple voices, it will play fine. So I'll restart it again. Okay, now I'm going to copy this voice and we're going to paste it three times. Okay, now we're going to go into the voice and we're going to basically change the pitches of all four of them so we have a wider pitch variety. So for the first one, we're going to change the pitch range to 11. Go to the next voice, change the pitch to say, yeah, 40. Pitch range down to 11. Next one, say, well, I don't know, 44, 43. This down to 11. And then this one up to say, 48, 49, down to 11. Okay. Now we're gonna go back here. The next thing I want to do is to ensure that all of the rules are using default rules and the reason for this is that when I go to the piece level rules I want to set up piece level rules to use these default values and the reason for doing this is that if I change a value here it will then change the value used by that voice so for example this is playing currently in a major scale which is fine and the harmonies, I'm going to get rid of the flat fifths and minus sixths and minus sevenths, just kind of make it a bit more major. Okay. And we would hear that straight away. Now I'm going to go back into the voice and I'm going to give this a bit of width in terms of the notes it plays are currently all in the same position pan wise. So there's a little trick you can do. So to the left of the envelope, I'm going to tap and add an LFO and tap the amplifier unit, add a new controller and associate that with the LFO. Now that currently is set up to modify or modulate the scale. I'm going to change that to be pan. Then what I'm going to do is to go into that LFO and this is the trick. In type, I'm going to set that to note on random. This acts like a sample and hold, if you like. It sets the pan every note and changes it, and it will vary. If you want to adjust the width, then you'd use these sliders here, for example, to just make it not go so wide. Okay, so if we were to listen to that for a second, we would hear notes appearing and just staying, so it gives it more width. Okay, next thing I want to do is to make this less stringy and I'm going to want to say try changing this to a, a more metally piano sound. So I'm going to select the piano pad one there. I want to change the envelope so it's got a quite a long attack. Then I'm going to change this one to be say piano pad two. Now what we should hear is a more metallic sound. There you go. Next, I want to add a template to another cell. And this time I'm going to add a backing and say ambience soft one. 
So we have two cells now generating. And for this one, I also want to ensure that we have a similar set of rules so that they work together. Okay, that'll do. And then next day rules doesn't really matter, but I'll put that there. So what we could do now is we can balance the elements within the cell. So this is volume and pan, or if we tap again, we can balance the cells themselves. So I could, for example, take down the piano sound, or I could take down this new one. I'm going to leave them kind of where they are. Now to the first cell here, I'm also going to add a text to music voice. So I'm going to go tap a voice, browse templates, select the TTM players, and I'm going to add a piano damped and I'm going to merge, don't replace, merge. Okay, And that's this one down here. So I actually want to take the volume down. There's two ways of doing this. If we go into the voice mixer, we could go to that and we could move this down here. The other way to do that is to go into a network and there's an amplifier on the end of that. Either add an amplifier or change the level of the synth network there. Okay. To this voice, I also want to add a bit of recording because I like that. And I'm going to add, uh, say, a depth of one, depth range of one. Let's say occasional recording or not always and I'm going to give it a delay range of to one so there's a slight amount of arpeggiation feel I'm also going to add the reverb to this which just gives a little bit extra. And what I could do is go into this text to music voice and let's just ch change the words that are being used. Imbue happiness begin. Well, why not? So melody's been generated, and the way this text and music voice has been set up, it'll repeat between two and four times and then improvise. I think we'll just let this play out. I hope you enjoyed listening to this tutorial.